lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria online, that's um, Mrs. Aisha Buhari. Your Excellency, thank you for joining us live on the Hangouts. Thank you, guys. I want to first of all congratulate you on um, Aisha and um, uh, Junior yeah. uh, graduation um, coming out with the first class. Thank you. And the 30th thank anniversary. You so and your 30th anniversary. Yeah. anniversary of marriage, marriage to your husband. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Double thank celebration you. Thank you so much. in the Wari family. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Back to the business. Madam Wu, mm. those people you are referring to, I want you to shed light on this. Who are they? Who are they? So, well done. Thank you for being with me this time to shed more light on what I've already said. Uh, actually, we all know the situation the country is now. Uh, we're all adults. And on that very day, I did not blame the governor specifically. If I wanted to blame the governor, I would have called the governor's forum, uh, you know, I'm I, I, um, not doing well on this, this, and that. But if you listen to my conversation there, I said what we are suffering from now is as a, as a result of long term of total neglect of what should be offered to the citizens. Mm -hmm. And we are all suffering from it. Mm -hmm. Whether you are an, uh, uh, an executive, an ordinary citizen, it's all the same. Yeah. We can't go to our villages and sleep with two eyes closed. So it cuts so across. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's cut across. And on that very day, I also like mentioned something on social media. When the Sultan of Sokoto talked about the social media, the the the, the bad effect, bad effect that um, it's, uh, it's reflecting in the society, and also. The Minister of Communication was there. When something happens, something that the minister is supposed to come out and say it, they don't say it. In that very place, the minister gave an example, the Minister of Communication gave an example, saying that uh, somebody called VP, His Excellency, uh, Professor Yemi Shumanjo, saying that, why did you resign? He said, no, I did not resign. Who told you that I've resigned? He said, he saw it on social media. Everybody laughed in that hall. When I got up to, to give my speech, I said, it's not a laughing matter. I was surprised that everybody laughed. What, uh, what does that mean? That they should continue saying that somebody as home, like as a home vice president of a country, a country of 200 million people, somebody thinking that he has resigned. A minister of communication that's supposed to give an order, you know, to bring an end to fake news. Talked about it and everybody laughed. And that's the end of it. No consequences for any offenders. Nothing. You know, you say what you like and you go free. So there's no way that we should have such a society and have uh, peace in it. So once there's no consequences, everybody is not doing what he should. You know, like almost everything is in a disarray. Mm. And a typical example of what happens that wherever they're supposed to take action against the offenders or, or to take action or to take charge or to be in control or to caution people, they keep mute on it. When it comes to unnecessary things, people will start talking from the presidency. A typical example of what happened after the election of Bielsa. When the PDP people came out and said that they will, is it suspend uh, the His Excellency Governor Jonathan, the former president, for doing wrong or something like that? I didn't read it because I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I have seen no reason why a presidency should come out and say that they were shocked to hear that. Is it our business? Are we PDP members? Oh. Eh? Mm -hmm. Is President Jonathan a member of our party? Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with the presidency? Meanwhile, they said the president is de uh, was dead when he was sick. They shot his coffin. They shot his everything. Uh, and then recently, all over the media that is getting married. 
they were shown this and that. Nobody <laughs> came out <laughs> to defend the president, to say anything about it. They left it to <laughs> How did you take that news, <laughs> madam? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take it serious because even my husband doesn't know what's happening. Mm. The both of us, we don't know what's happening. They just, mm. they just decided to bombard the media, the social media with it. Mm. So they are now threatening the, the social media to bring down the government itself. Mm. So I feel that we should not allow people that are nobody and nothing to bring to 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 override the innocent people, the people that are supposed to be in charge, should remain mute. Meanwhile, the bad ones will talk about the country from us. It's impossible. Mm. Mm. And it's totally unacceptable. Mm. Mm. Your Excellency, ma, yes. have you ever been told to stop talking? Have you ever been told? Who will stop me? <laughs> Everybody is talking in the country. Nobody will stop me. <laughs> <laughs> like, the <laughs> man, they want to guard you. To guard you too. <laughs> to uh, stop talking because every time you talk is like a bomb <laughs> <laughs> no it's a serious matter nobody is safe no consequences mm. so everybody should talk <laughs> so it's like everybody is free to talk freedom of movement freedom of talk uh, uh, what do you call speech. it um, uh, speech, speech expressing yes. your opinion on things and yes. don't forget that everybody knows that we are not safe where, he, uh, where, he, uh, where we are. Yes. You will either be kidnapped or shot to death, or this one will attack you, that person will attack this person. Okay. So it's, it's just wrong. Okay. We suppose there should be consequences for, on, for any offense. Yes, and the, and the ministers should do what they should. I know that Nigeria is a complex country. But Nigeria needs like a little bit, uh, 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 we need a bit of sanity. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. We need a bit of sanity. Yes. 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 All right, Celeste. Um, yeah. I, just as I said before, um, we've seen several first ladies before you. Um, oh. I don't think no, none of them uh, have been this bold to be able to come out to defend. They don't the intervene. They don't intervene in the national matters. matters. How do will you want to be remembered after leaving this office? <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you one example. Mm -hmm. On the 6th of uh, November, I think the 2nd of November, I met the wife of the vice president okay. at the airport on, on my way to Morocco and she on her way to Ekene. Mm. She was looking so exhausted and looking sick. Yeah. I said, Dolapo, must you travel? She said, what can I do? These people really fought for us during the last election. They did not allow any party to come to our ward because of me and my husband. And now they are having a function in that very village. And my husband is going to be in Daura now. He won't be able to attend. So there is no way that both of us would attend that particular event for, for Ekene people. I said, what does that mean? She said, I felt indebted to them the way they fought for us. I said, okay, you are not joining the line. <laughs> because these people fought for your husband, that's for only one term. And me, the, the Nigerian masses continue, they, they believe in my husband's ideology, they continue fighting for it for the past 12 years, before 2015. <laughs> when we go to this place, it's not because we are the richest, the most handsome, or beautiful, the most educated, <laughs> but we are just here due to trust and confidence that they have in us. Mm. So I feel indebted to Nigeria masses or Nigerians in general to continue defending them mm. as the wife of the president or as the first lady or as the mother of the nation. That's a good that's one. That's a good that's a, that's a very that's a good one. 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 <laughs> Final <laughs> question before you go, Your Excellency. <laughs> Do you get to take on yes. the president in some of these matters that we just raised? That sometimes you get to the pillow talk, Mr. President, what is happening? There's no pillow in the villa. Even in the other room. Even in the other room. No. They are always busy listening to one story or another, you know. Okay. I think the people he put in the cabinet is like 
they should just sit up and do the needful and that is it Thank that's right. why it's, it's not good to have godfatherism we just need to choose the right people to be at, at the right place so that we will rest wow. so that the first lady should, should stop talking okay Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Thank, thank you very much. Send Johnny back to the country. <laughs> That's the first lady of the Federal Republic thank of Nigeria. Much.